28 years, I've been performing at sport events around the world. And I listen to them. When do they need me to turn it up in there? When do they need me to hold back? And when do I need to get up there and give it like that, everything I got, and ignite the room? Third period, eight minutes to go in the game. I was so upset, nobody was cheering. I'm like, why aren't we having fun? Let's let loose. Let's be part of something. Come on. And this team needs us. I get up in front of 10,000 people and I start to do this. <laughs> and I'm dancing. And they're looking to me like you are right now. Get some medical help, buddy. <laughs> but that moment in your life where you decide to just get up, to go for it, you stop asking for permission here and here, and it comes from here. You just keep dancing, don't you? It's not because I got up that first time. It's what we do with it. And in that moment, I had no idea. But you won't believe what happened. Next thing I know, the whistle blows. A minute later, the DJ plays a huge dance song. This dance song comes on. And 10,000 people stare and look at me, and they're like, come on, Big Red. You got to keep dancing. <laughs> my final shot to make that high school basketball team. I've got to do it, right? Go to see if my name's on the board. I get home. My mom just knew. She just knew. She could feel it. Makes me my favorite meal, roast beef with a side of peanut butter and jam sandwich. It's Canadian delicatessen, OK? She said, Cameron, maybe there's other ways you can contribute to the team. But on her anniversary, I was reminded that I never let it be my story. It's been my fuel to get up, to share some laughs with Tracy and all of you, to go to sport events and make people have fun, because that was the message my mother left me. She didn't write it down on a piece of paper. She lived it. But you know what? When you get that yes, when all of us in the room get that yes, when out of nowhere you get that phone call, hey, you want to come and speak at the Caesars event, or hey, you want to come and do the NBA Finals, or whatever it might be for you, you we all know, we all know, because we're putting ourselves out there all the time. When you get that yes, it's all worth it, right? We're all in the smile business. We can sell rooms. We can sell conferences. We can sell meetings. But at the end of the day, you want people, we want people to leave your properties, our properties, the events that I do, that we all do, smiling, right? So how many people in this room would get up at a sporty event sober to get the crowd going if it needed it? How many people? Oh, you're, you in the back, come on up, please. Come on up. Lisa, young lady here. <laughs> Sir, can I, can I get you up? This is your game on Caesars finale dance contest, oh yeah! You have 60 seconds, but here's the thing. You got to give them energy on three, two, one, DJ, go!